Hey guys, Evan here, and I'm back with another video. So, um, in today's video, I felt like the cards I made, I haven't made that much. They don't really seem worthy of um, a review yet. There's like only like seven cards I made. So, maybe if I make like 20 cards, I'll probably show them off. Um, there's no feedback from my friends yet whether or not they're going to open up their, their deck or make a video about it. So, I don't know if they're going to do that or not. So, because they tell me if they're not, then I'll go ahead and make a review for that. But if they are, then I don't know yet. So, I'll have to wait. Anyway, so this site, a couple of days ago, um, one of the YouTubers, um, Paper Products Inc. I'll make sure to try to put a link in her channel down below. But, um, she actually was working on a card game for, like, a year almost. It was ten months since her last video. And so, I can't remember the name of the card game. But, um, she actually did it on this website called Game Crafters. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I was like, I didn't know what it was. I'm like, it's probably, like, whatever Weebly sites. But, no, it's a site that actually prints, um, prints cards. And I was actually pretty amazed. I didn't know it existed. Like, look at this, like, booster box right there. You see that? Like, wow. And they have booster packs and everything and stutter decks. I'm like, this is pretty cool. Um, so, I already made an account on here. And I'm probably gonna, whenever I finish making all my cards, I'll probably just print them out on here and maybe sell them on here. So, if you go over to make games, and you go to products, and I'm like, there's glare on this since I don't have a computer recorder. Let me see if my phone. Um... But they actually sell all these things. Like they have different sizes, so like for the booklets, they like boards, and they have decks. And I thought it was really cool because they actually have the deck boxes, and then they also have play mats that they print. And then you can do that with your own design. And you can customize your cards on here, and they print them out. And they actually have prices for you. I got I don't know the exact size of cards I'm making. I guess poker, poker card sizes. So if they're using poker size cards, uh, like what? Price per sheet is a dollar and fifty six, and there's eight cards on each sheet. So um, that's actually pretty cheap if you kind of calculate that. I mean, I was like, that's not that, that's not too bad. Um, so I got to trying to work that out, um, getting money to print that out. But the thing is, you can sell them on here too. Um, let's go to the actual homepage. I'll show you that. Um. That card game, I, I just saw it last night whenever I went on here. So, more new stuff. Um, here's the game she made the hive. So, like the booster, the full set of all the cards is, is 12 bucks, and then they have booster pack for six dollars. So, they print all that on there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Actually, you get to customize your own art and everything if you click on full set. I might show you the cards, I don't know yet. So, like, there's your picture, pictures. I think that was a cover for a video. But, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. I guess if you guys want to check that out, I'll try to see if I can make a link in the description for this website. Um, there it is right there. Thegamecrafter.com Um, I'm like, well, I was like, well, that's like, this is amazing. It's like going to change the TCG community forever. I don't know how long this has actually even been here. I really don't. It's probably been here for a while, I guess, but I have no idea. Um, so, yeah. I guess it's more of a quick video. I don't really have a lot to talk about now that I think of it. So, I, oh, yes, I, I almost forgot. So, today at school, um, I was, like, making, working on some cards, and my friend Jason came up, and he was, like, he was, like, man, I want to play, I want to play with you. And I said, okay, so I went ahead and opened up the decks, which I didn't damage the packaging too bad, I guess. I was probably, probably remaking the packaging because it didn't turn out too well after putting the cards in and taking them out over and over again. Like, they're hard to keep them in. So, I'm going to remake the packaging for that and, like, different design. But, so, we were playing, and it was actually turned out pretty well. Um, I know I had all these rules thought up, but I just never had the time to write them down, so I still got to do that. But, so, it turned out really good, and he said it was really fun. So, I said, okay, we'll probably do it again. So, um, so today, I think that was on Thursday... So today we played again. Um, today's on today's Monday, so we played again. Um, and then another kid, and his name was Connor, and he plays Yu-Gi-Oh. And I, I guess I never really talked to him that much, but I knew he played Yu-Gi-Oh, and I knew him because I think I have a couple. I think I have a class with him, maybe not. But he asked me if he wanted to play. Um, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't do too good on the game, I guess. I guess it was his first day, so he didn't really get the hang of it. But um, yeah, so we played, and he he said it was awesome. He said you want to play it again. 
And then, like, people already said they want to start buying my cards. I was like, what? I'm not even ready yet. So, I, um, so Jason's going to help me make the game now. He's probably going to help me, um, order all these, um, probably, maybe help me to design the template. And he's actually checking out the Game Crafter at home. So, um, yeah. So, I guess I'll, I'll ask him tomorrow how that turns out. So, yeah, he was pretty amazed on it, too. And he said he's glad to help me. He's, I guess... He's not really a person who's really used to actually um, playing cards. I've never seen him play any card card games at all. But yeah, he liked it. I said he wanted to play. So yeah. So today is actually a rather short video. I don't know whether to la label this as a Man Ridge episode or not. I guess I do talk about it. It does help the channel. I think I'm probably just going to label this as a as a game update. Maybe just like a channel update. So yeah so this is pretty amazing i was like wow i was like really psyched like i don't, I don't even know what to, I, don't, I don't know what to, i don't even know i can't eat, i'm just stuttering i don't have words to describe how amazing i am with this this is awesome um yeah so i was telling my mom about it and stuff and she was like amazed by it um yeah so i'll yeah, just do this i'll just do this then so um i'm gonna like what i'm gonna do is i make all the cards then I'm going to redraw the card art, scan on the computer, then make a template on here, and then do it on here and print it out. So you'll be able to print the, buy the card, like, if you go back to that girl with the Hive game, the booster packs are 6 bucks, 7, seven bucks for booster pack, with 10 cards in it. I don't really feel like that's really that great. So I'm probably just going to make mine cheap, like maybe like $2 for a pack, and like a deck for like maybe $5 or whatever. I'll probably sell booster boxes on there too, but anyway, I'm getting too far ahead of myself, so, yeah, so, I'll just go and end this video off today, it's more of a shorter video, I don't know how short my other video was, maybe like 5 minutes, so it might be the same time, so, yeah, anyway, so, remember to comment, like, and subscribe down below, um, if you thought this is pretty cool, you should probably go check it out yourself, and make sure you subscribe to Paper Products Inc., she's actually pretty cool, she does a lot of cool things on her channel, so, I, I, why not subscribe, subscribe to her too, she does CCGs. So, yeah, it's kind of it today. Yeah. So, yep, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.